Hey Dating Masses, Michael here with iDateAdvice.com. Today's topic are the five things that you want to know before moving in with somebody. You don't want to rush when you're dating to move in, but if you're at a point where you're kind of thinking about it, we need to have a discussion. <laughs> so the first point is really impactful, really big, and probably the most important one here. Um, it's more of a decision that has to make sense logically than just an emotional decision. So first point is money. This one really is important. You have to know, can they afford to move out of their current situation and move into a house or an apartment with you? What's their financial situation? What does it look like? Will you be, let's say, co-signing the lease? That means if things don't work out, you try to break a lease, you're going to get hit with a penalty. Um, You might not be able to. You also need to know what the financial situation is like because you're going to be buying other things together, either furniture or appliances. So you want to know where you sit. And it's not enough to just know they have a job. You want to know that the, the, the numbers make sense moving forward. Number two is cleanliness. Ugh, this one is so important. Are they a sloppy person? Are they kind of dirty? Maybe they're really neat. Maybe they're neat freaks. Maybe they're too neat. You know, being a neat freak isn't great either. If they have OCD and they're constantly like, everything has to be perfect. Um, I'm the kind of person who doesn't want to live in a museum. I don't want to live in something where I can't touch anything. But at the same time, I don't leave piles of laundry on the floor either. So you want to know where they, where they kind of are on that. You also want to know, and this is my next point, how serious are they about your relationship? You know, what are their expectations on where they see things going? Bring this up in a real conversation. You have to be able to talk about this. Do they want the same thing that you want five years down the road? Do they just want to maybe see where it goes? Because just seeing where it goes isn't that big of a deal unless you're living together. Because if six months down the road it doesn't work out, again, you're going to have a problem. So what does their lifestyle look like? Are they more of a bookworm or are they more of a party animal? This would be the difference between getting a good night's sleep or having rave music and glow sticks going on at two, three o'clock in the morning. Uh, If you're the kind of person that likes to get up at six o'clock in the morning, down at nine o'clock at night, this might not be the right time to move in if they're still in the party phase. You want to know what you're getting yourself into. And that was my fourth point. The fifth and kind of a fun point to talk about is Do they have or do they want to have pets? This is something that can frequently get overlooked as it seems like such an insignificant factor. But let's say, on the one hand, if you're allergic to cats and they have a cat, living together would be maybe not the best idea while they have the cat. But also consider that not every apartment complex or housing complex allows maybe animals such as larger dogs, you know, larger breed animals, especially pit bulls, rottweilers, they aren't always welcome. So you want to make sure that you're not going to run into any issues there, you know, but that's more of a conversation to have um, with the housing complex. So doing a little fact finding and just talking about all these things before you decide to move in together can truly be the difference between happiness every day and hell on earth every day. Also, you might want to consider how you truly feel about him or her. Is this person you're dating really the one you want to wake up to every morning moving forward? You know, married life and living together are not all that different. You want to consider all your factors. So think about those five. All right, dating masses, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to get a new dating advice video each and every week. We welcome your questions and comments. And as always, we reply absolutely free of charge. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hey, Dating Masses. Michael here with iDateAdvice.com. Today's topic is some dating advice for Christian singles. Now, when you feel strongly passionate about something in your life, it can be 